In Engineering 105, uh, it's the fundamentals of engineering, and one of the uh, major things that students are learning is how to solve and approach uh, ill-defined, open-ended problems that have nearly infinite solutions. So one of the things that we're trying to emphasize is uh, not necessarily uh, if these projects were wildly successful, uh, it's the methodology, and it's best for students to uh, try out the methodology, get used to the methodology of thinking about these ill-defined problems and approaching them in the right way. Uh, so a lot of their grading is weighted towards just getting the method down. It's always better for students to make mistakes here in school where the risks are, are low, uh, rather than out in industry where it can cost them their job and reputation. Here we have a duct tape hammock. It can roughly hold about 1,500 pounds if you could lay it on there on an evenly distributed fashion. But we can demonstrate with Kuspa here. That's the metal work. Right basic egg cannon that's designed to hold a, uh, a projectile in the shape of a Pringles can. So basically how it works is uh, we had a stand, which another one of our guys took with him, that would mount down here, then the other person would sit at the base, hold it down, and draw it. And we'd draw it all the way down, just about to the max, let her go, and uh, we managed to achieve about 50 feet. They were able to get out of it uh, pretty consistent, um, depending on what angle we set the barrel at, it would obviously affect how far it shot. Um, but we aptly named it the Howitzer. For this final project, I had a list of 20 different ill-defined challenges for students to uh, uh, select from, and then it was first come, first serve based on how they did in midterms. Uh, this year, uh, the projectile projects were more popular.